So I feel like this has been a problem for like ever since Disney was created basically where people are like, oh hey, this movie's Disney and then it's obviously not because the studio that made it is usually listed like literally on the cover usually. Not always, but usually it is. Like, you know, DreamWorks will literally put their, you know, the DreamWorks logo on the cover of their stuff and on, like, you know, DVD cases and stuff. Like, you know, I mean, DVD stuff isn't really used as much nowadays, but back when I was a kid, you know, we had DVDs and, like, all the time because we didn't have streaming services yet. Um, when was Netflix created? Like, I don't even remember when Netflix was created, but, like, we didn't have that, or I didn't have that as a kid, so, you know, I just had, like, DVDs and stuff, and, you know, you'd see the DreamWorks logo on whatever DVDs and stuff, so it's kind of just like, you know, obviously it's not Disney then, um, or you could just look up on Google like put the name of the movie in Google or whatever other search engine you search engine you use and it should come up with like you know director uh writers and then the studio it was made by and it'll say like Disney or DreamWorks or Pixar or whatever and you know it's it's not that hard to figure out what where these movies come from so it's kind of weird how people always confuse this or that movie as a disney movie when it's clearly not like just because a movie is animated does not mean it's disney <laughs> like i just i don't get why people always think like oh it's animated it's for kids therefore it must be made by disney like no it's not um and I kind of wanted to go over some movies that I see a lot of people mistake for Disney when it's not by Disney. So yeah, like a lot of people mistake Anastasia from 1997 as Disney when it was not made by Disney. They may know, now own the studio that made it nowadays, but they, they didn't make Anastasia they didn't they didn't own it back when it was made in 1997 so you know why are people mistaking it as disney when it's not disney like they didn't own the studio or anything back then they didn't make it they didn't have any part in it so it's like you know it's not really disney we can't call anastasia a disney princess when she's not you know um, and then I think, I guess, you know, all dogs go to heaven, I guess, also, one, um, I haven't really seen anyone mistake, like, I'm just looking at a list of some movies that I guess someone sees, um, mistaken for Disney movies, but yeah, I guess, you know, they have the B movie on here, I haven't seen that really mistaken, but, you know, I don't go on that side of the internet, so I guess, of course, I'm not gonna see it as mistaken for Disney, but, yeah, um, I think I've seen The Book of Life mistaken as Disney before, too. Maybe a couple times, but yeah, that's not Disney. Um, and then also there's, you know, Disney made A Book's Life, and then there's also the Ants movie that wasn't made by Disney. The Ants movie, I'm pretty sure, was just because, like, Disney was making a movie about bugs, and then so... You know, of course, a different company is going to be like, oh, hey, they're making a movie about bugs. Let's also make a movie about bugs. Because I think they came out, did they come out the same or around the same time? I'm going to have to look that up. Yeah, bugs Life. Yeah, they, they both came out around the, uh, the same year. So it's literally just because, you know, Disney was doing it or, you know, one studio was doing it, so the other studio also wanted to do a movie about bugs, so, you know, Ants is not Disney, but Bugs Life is, so don't, don't get them confused with each other. <laughs> um, Balto, I think, is that how you say it? I feel like I saw that movie a long time ago, but I don't really remember it, so 
Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm saying it right. <laughs> I think I'm saying it right, but yeah, I think I've seen that one mistaken as Disney before, too. Um, and then Charlotte's Web, I... I don't... I, I mean, I guess, yeah, people probably think it's Disney. Yeah, that seems like, you know, Coraline, I feel like a lot of people... People mostly mistake Coraline as Tim Burton, even though he didn't really have much to do with Coraline, so that one's a little bit different, but yeah, I think it's just because, like, um, Nightmare Before Christmas is Disney, and then so they think Coraline and Corpse Bride are also Disney, when Corpse Bride and Coraline are not Disney. <laughs> like, they're different from that, they're not made by that studio, so, you know, I don't I just like a lot of people are mistaking DreamWorks movies for Disney and it's kind of just like bro like Spirit the horse movie I've seen people mistake that for Disney and it's like it doesn't say Disney on the cover it literally says DreamWorks or like people would mistake like I don't know Shrek even though like Shrek was literally like a, supposed to be a joke on Disney fairy tales that's why DreamWorks did it just cuz it's you know, they're memeing on it, so I just, like, also Disney would never have it where Shrek, you know, in the first couple movies, they literally say damn and ass multiple times, like, Disney would not do that, <laughs> Disney would not let there be swear words in their movies like that, same with Corpse Bride, also, someone says I don't give a damn, like, Disney wouldn't fucking do that, <laughs> Disney's not gonna let that slide um also I, I think disney owns the studio that made ice age now but they did not make ice age back when it was made like the original ice age was from 2002 they did not own it back then when it was made they may own it i think they know own the studio now but they didn't have any part in making it back when it was made so that's also another one there. Um, Iron Giant, I think I've seen people maybe mistake that for it. Also, there's a freaking, what's it called? The White Lion movie. <laughs> uh, people often try to compare that movie to The Lion King, and it's just like, it's, no, stop trying to compare them. They're not even the same. Like, stop doing that. I guess Kiki's Delivery Service is also on here, and The Last Unicorn is on here. Oh yeah, I think a lot of people might think The Land Before Time. I would not be surprised if people think that's Disney when it's not. Um, Kung Fu Panda's on here. I don't know if I've seen anyone mistake that for Disney, though. I guess maybe... Um, and then let's see, what what else is there on here? I feel like people might mistake Prince of Egypt, too, when that's DreamWorks, <laughs> not Disney. Rise of the Guardians is DreamWorks, too. I would not be surprised if a lot of people think that's also Disney when it's not. Uh, the Road to El Dorado, I've, I think I've seen people mistake that, yeah. I think, yeah, people have mistaked that for Disney when it's not. Robots from 2005, people like to kind of whatever with that too, I think. Shark Tale is also not Disney. Sinbad, um, that's DreamWorks. Uh, the Swan Princess, I feel like people just think, like, oh, princess movie, therefore Disney. Animated princess, therefore Disney. <laughs> when it's not. Thumbelina too, that's I think also kind of dis like princessy whatever so i i, I don't I, I if i if i did watch some Belina back when i was a kid like i don't remember it so i don't really know if it's exactly like princess whatever it does give that vibe though so i would not be surprised if people think oh hey it must be disney but it's not um but yeah there's other movies do, of course. I just wanted to name a few that 
people seem to think is Disney, but it's not, and some that I have seen people mistake as Disney when it's not, and it's kind of just like, no, <laughs> it's not. Like, you can literally look at the cover, and usually on the cover it'll say who it's by, what studio it's by, who the director is and stuff, and all that. Um, but it's like, you can easily just look up the studio and see if it's Disney or not. Like, what, what is the studio? But also it's like, specifically with stuff like Anastasia and Ice Age, YouTube, or not YouTube, where did that come from? Disney may own them now, but they didn't own them back when those movies were made, so you also have to kind of take that into consideration. So, yeah, I just wanted to kind of bring up this kind of problem, I guess, and be like, hey, shut the fuck up, these movies are not Disney. <laughs> so, yeah, anyways, I guess that's kind of it for this video, but yeah, I guess by then...